I don't know where we're going. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on Tiger Television. I'm Janice Sinclair. And I'm Austin McBeth. Today we are bringing you coverage of the National Honor Society Service Project, driving safety tips as the weather is getting worse, and Samantha's, Samantha Anderson's trip to Allstate right after this. National Honor Society is a nationwide organization where you have to apply to get accepted. Selection is based on four criteria, scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Being in NHS, you are required to do multiple service projects throughout the year. One of their pro service projects this year were, was to go down to the elementary and make edible crafts with play and play games with the third and fifth graders. Brendan Gerst got a closer look at the story. This is Braden Gersh reporting for KTTV, where I caught up with National Honor Society students who did a service project in the elementary two weeks ago. I also caught up with Mrs. Deb Matthews, who explains more exactly what NHS is. I'm the NHS advisor. Um, I work with the National Honor Society students here at New London. Um, we do service projects and fundraising. You get to wear an extra tassel on graduation day, number one. Number two, um, the uh, National Honor Society is nationally recognized. It emphasizes leadership, academics, and character. And putting NHS that you've been involved in that in high school on your resume or your college application helps you greatly to get into colleges and helps you with your careers. I also had a chance to talk with Kristen Allen about what it means to be a member and what she gains from being in NHS. Uh, you gain leadership skills and um, you just get to be able to work with other people and get to do services. I then talked to Cameron, an elementary student, about what she thought about the NHS service project. I liked making the craft because it was edible, and I liked um, the game we played too. This has been Brandon Gersh reporting for KTTV. Back to you guys. Thanks, Brayden. If you want to become a member of NHS, you have to maintain a high enough grade point average so that you can apply when you are a sophomore in the spring. With the temperatures decreasing, the snow starting to fall, and the slick roads, we have to remember the simple safety tips to keep you and the people around you safe while driving. Sam and Koontz has all the winter driving tips. This is Sam and Koontz with KTTV, giving you driving safety tips for this winter. Avoid driving while you're fatigued. Getting the proper amount of rest before taking on the winter weather task reduces driving risks. Do not use cruise control when driving on any slippery surface. Never warm up a car in an enclosed area such as a garage. Make certain your tires are properly inflated. Never mix radial tires with any other tire. Keep your gas tank at least half full to avoid gas line freeze up. If possible, avoid using your parking brake in cold, rainy, and snowy weather. Always look and steer where you want to go. Use your seatbelt every time you get into your vehicle. Brake gently to avoid skidding. If your wheels start to lock up, ease off the brake. Turn on your lights to increase your visibility to other motorists. Keep your lights and windshield clean. Use low gears to keep traction, especially on hills. This is Sammy Coons with KTTV. The best advice for driving in bad weather is not to drive at all. If you can't avoid it, just remember those tips and always wear your seatbelt. 
Samantha Anderson was selected for Iowa All-State Band, participated in, AIM, in the concert up at Ames in November. Ashlyn Brown got, a talk, got to talk to Samantha about her accomplishments. Hello everybody, this is Ashlyn Brown reporting from KTTV News to tell you all about the All-State Music Festival. The All-State Music Festival was November 21st through the 23rd. Senior Samantha Anderson was the only student from New London who attended. Let's see how she got it. The audition process for Allstate is simple, but the things we have to do are more challenging. We have to know three etudes, a solo piece, and we play about a minute and a half of that. We have to know our 12 major scales and a chromatic scale, which is every note on the instrument. It's pretty difficult for small schools to get into Allstate because it's not by classification of schools. So Samantha was competing against schools from Davenport, Bettendorf, all the Iowa City high schools, and only 1.7% of the entire musicians in Iowa make Allstate. We went up Thursday and I had to audition for chair placements. Friday was a full day of rehearsals, um, on and off. Saturday we had another day of rehearsals and then we broke and got ready for the dress rehearsal and the concert. The concert was amazing because um, playing in a room with 280 other fantastic musicians from the state of Iowa um, was just amazing. And the orchestra had 180 people, the choir had 602, and so listening to them it was a great experience. That sounds like an amazing opportunity. We're proud of you, Samantha. This has been Ashlyn Brown, KTTV News. Congratulations, Samantha. Great work. Let's take a look at the events coming up this week. Tonight, JV Boys, Varsity Girls, and Boys Basketball are taking on West Burlington here, starting at 4.30. This is our red out for the American Red Cross. You can purchase the t-shirts at the game for only 10 bucks. Be sure to wear red. Also, on Friday, Middle school wrestling is at West Burlington at 4.30. Saturday, the Jeremy Folk Wrestling Tournament is here starting at 10. Monday, JV Girls and Boys Basketball is here versus Central Lee at 6. And Middle School Girls Basketball is at Central Lee at 4.30. Tuesday, Middle School Wrestling Meet has a, wrestling meet, uh, has a meet here at 4.30. And Varsity Girls and Boys Basketball is at Central Lee starting at 6. Thursday, High School Wrestling travels to Meepo at 6.30 and middle school girls basketball takes on Holy Trinity here at 4.30. Good luck to all our Tigers. Thanks for joining us on Tiger, Tiger Television. Television.